Hello guys and welcome to the video. Um, as you can tell, I already hit the uh, snooze alarm once, but welcome to puppy life. Come on, come on. So depending on when I go to bed is when I wake up, but I went to sleep at about 11.30 last night. I took them out right, right then. Um, try to wake up once a night. Used to be twice to take him out, but he's getting, surprisingly, a little better. Go potty. Good boy. So normally when he goes to the bathroom, he's gonna be on a leash and I will give him like a ton of praise when he does go to the bathroom, but in the middle of the night, I try to be a lot more calm and uh, not get him riled up because I want him to go back to bed. But as you can see right now, he's just kind of sleeping. We'll give him another couple minutes to see if he can go poop. And if not, we'll put his ass back in the crate, go back to sleep, and wake up in like three and a half hours. So right now he's just kind of chewing on something. It uh, doesn't seem very focused. I'm gonna give him another like minute to uh, try to poop and if not, you're done, man. I think he's gonna poop, I think he's gonna poop. Yes, good boy, go potty. A lot of the times it's really easy to uh, think they're not gonna go to the bathroom and then they're just laying down. Um, the key I've been learning is to just be patient and kind of like pick them up. See, what are you doing, what are you doing now? So now he's starting to wander. He pooed and he peed. So now we pick him back up. I try not to like talk to him a ton. I don't want to get him, you know, excited. Just, oh, I know, yeah. We better get back to bed right now. Uh, yeah, and that's that. Got my retainer back in. Well, not retainer, it's a night guard. Um, and then right now, we have our alarm set for seven o'clock, so about four hours. Good night, dude. breakfast. Now I know that as soon as he wakes up, even though he's pooped three hours ago, he needs to go again, except he dropped one little turd in the hallway and then it went outside for 15 minutes. He didn't go. So now I put him in his crate. Uh, I'm going to take a shower and then take him out again. So <laughs> puppy life, dude, dad life. <laughs> Just poop everywhere. So for food, I feed him three times a day and I just kind of split it up because he really doesn't eat his entire meal each time. I know, buddy. Let's say in all throughout the day, he probably only eats like a cup and a half of food. Uh, I think his appetite is going to get bigger, obviously, as he gets bigger. You hungry? And I try to feed him in his crate so then he learns to like his crate. So at nighttime, he doesn't hate his crate. Like I was saying, he did about five bites and now he's over there playing with the ball. If he takes more than 20 minutes, I take it up and then I'm like, you know what? You can have some at lunch. You can try again. So while dude is eating his little bone stick thing, <clears throat> I am making some breakfast. Typical smoothie. I know some of you are like, wow, Max, that looks a little smaller than usual. That's what she said. Well, we're not doing a gigantic one today. We just have one scoop of our blueberry protein, one Dan and Lighten Fit Greek yogurt. Usually I do like two and a half servings of fruit, just like one today, you know, because we got stuff to do. We can't be sitting around here drinking a gigantic smoothie. Time to go to the office. Let's go, buddy. Let's go. Before we can go to the office, we have to pick up poop. Here's a nice piece of shit. He called the shit poop. Oh yeah, triple today. Oh yeah, ooh, it's kind of warm. Mm. Something that I love about where I work is that dude always has friends. Come on, 
Come on, buddy. Good boy. Come on. Bella. Play with the dude. Play with the dude. First thing we always do when we get to the warehouse is go outside. Come on. Oh, you're getting fast, dude. So fast. Go potty. So behind the warehouse is great, except for this area right here. And I'm assuming that there's like grass that's gonna grow. Maybe they put seed and then it's just winter and in the summer, you know, or the spring, it'll actually, you know, flourish because there's plenty of grass over there, plenty of grass over here. I'm not really sure who ran this extension cord all the way, but I definitely don't want the dogs to on here. We kind of have to monitor the stuff that's out here, clean up a lot out here. Uh, it's basically like walking on landmines too, because you're just like, oh, yep, there's a pile of poop. And then you're like, oh, nothing, nothing. Oh, there's a pile of poop. There's a pile of poop. There's a pile of poop. <laughs> so we need to do doggy cleanup, but I can't wait till it's like warmer and super nice here in Texas. And then myself and dude and all the other dogs can play out here just for, for the longest time. You can have the best time here. It's going to be the best setup for you, dude. Good boy. Go potty. Good boy. <laughs> Is that to all the haters? You hear it? He's saying, you better thumbs up the video. Thumbs it up for Max. I got him this ball, but he's a little too small for it. Ready? Go get it. Oh, oh, oh. That's, that's Max playing sports for you. So today we are trying out a new hair salon. I've not gotten a haircut since I was in DC. We're trying out Boardroom Salon for Men. We're gonna get their top tier package and see what they have to offer. $60, but you get a lot. $60 is a lot. I was paying 40 in DC plus tip, but this has a <gasps> tailored haircut plus 50 minutes of relaxing spa services that include a personal consultation, paraffin hand dip, don't know what that is, maybe it's like sausage dip, precision neck shave, I don't have facial hair, energizing shampoo and conditioning, scalp massage, pressure point facial massage, steam towel, stress relieving hand massage, cleansing rinse, and finishing touch styling. <sighs> is that all? No. I have unpaid parking tickets. <laughs> All right, so let me just say that that experience was fantastic. It was so good. So the haircut looks pretty good. Obviously with the new stylist, you kind of have to let them like, kind of like learn your hairstyle. When I first went with uh, my guy in DC, his name was Ever. <laughs> forward, right? Um, you know, it, it took a couple times before we kind of like learned how I liked my hair and whatnot. So um, I really, really like it so far. I know it'll only get better if I went, kept going back to her. Um, but the whole benchmark thing was so nice. The, per, the, the hand dip, she's like, oh, we sanitize our hands. And then there was just a big bucket. And I thought it was like water. We put it in. I was like, wow, that's really hot water. And then I pulled out and then my hand starts like, like getting this film over it. I'm like, is this wax? So they put wax all over your hands and they put like, paper or like a plastic bag on your hands and then like mittens on your hands and then you lay down and then they wash your hair and then she's giving me like a head massage, a neck massage, a face massage, then she puts like a super warm towel like over my face like this and it's like has like some scent on it, it's so fantastic. She's like giving me like an arm massage, then gives me like a hand massage. I'm like, damn, this was amazing. Now it's dude time. All right, so it is operation. Get dude some more stuff. We're gonna try out some different techniques. Right now, when I take him out, I'm trying to use the leash, but he does not like that. It like goes in front at some times and he like puts it in his mouth and it's like, like, like this and it's really distracting for him. And we can't be having him have distractions. So we are gonna switch to a nice little harness. So then the back of the leash is actually on the, his back. So then he can't pull the leash, can't distract him. So we can just take a crap. He really, really enjoys the Nyla bone that Ava has, so I'm gonna get one of his own. These are great because they take forever to destroy. I think I'm gonna get him this so he'll stop monkeying around. So I've read a keys to get different textures for your dog to chew on. So example, you have Nyla bone and this little monkey has like knots and whatnot, like rope style. So I'm gonna get this man bear pig thing that doesn't have any knots, it doesn't have any squeaks, it's just like, it's really, really durable, but it's kind of soft, so just kind of be different for his little teeth. Next up, we are gonna get some training treats. These are chicken flavored, so when he goes potty and does stuff that we want, we're trying to you know, teach him things, we can praise him with that. Uh, I'm gonna get some beef jerky skins. These are good, these are natural, there's no like artificial stuff. There's just like smoke flavor and beef skin as the only ingredients. And then like a elk antler. Look at these dumb little animals. Guys, please tell me in what world, why would anyone want this as a pet? Like, what do you do with it? You just watch it? Like, you just... Yes, run. Yes. Run, okay. All right. Yep, that's so fun. Okay. Actually, damn. 
Now that I think about it, I kind of wish I was them. They look like they're having a blast. Check this out. Dude likes taking poops. Maybe he'll like eating poop. All this stuff was $168. Dude is one expensive doggo. And by the way, before anyone comments on like my hair and is like, Max, dude, you gotta get like a skin fade, man. You gotta get a sick fade. I don't want to get a sick fade, guys. I, I, I like like hair stylist salons and whatnot. I, I'm not trying to go to like a barber where they have some fake ass supreme like uh, you know <laughs> hair cutting gown thing. I like the way my hair looks. Lunch. Mona's over here laughing at me because a subscriber, thank you, someone sent me a loof on a stick and she thinks it's hilarious. People know that I like loof on a stick. Do you use a loof on a stick? How do you wash the middle of your back, Mona? Okay. I'm not, can reach you can't reach. <laughs> okay, well, maybe you need to work out. You know, maybe you get a lats a little bigger and then you won't be able to do it. Look at me. Put the camera on me. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. I'm so jacked. Look at this. Oh, I can't. How am I supposed to wash the. On my back. Look at me now. I mean, you're over there like, oh my god, I bend down and wash my leg. Not me. Look at this. Okay. Yep. So look. See what I'm we got uh, something a little nice for the office. Some, we're gonna get some M and M's over there, which I'm not really gonna touch at all. But got some skits. Well, we we got, this scooper is a little small. Oh yes, would you like some Skittles? So as you guys see, the Dilla platforms that I've built with my bare hands that I made identical to the ones at District Barbell like two and a half years ago are getting the ever-living crap kicked out of them. Mainly because people don't know how to use platforms, I guess. They're slamming the weight down on the wood, they're making sure it's not on the rubber. They're using the Dilla jack in some way that I've never known possible. They're like having half the jack like laying off and they're cracking all the wood. I'm just like, how do you do this? And I'd be like, well, Max, District Barbell is a private gym, right? That doesn't mean that people in a public gym need to be like dumb with how like you use stuff. Max, you calling people dumb? I'm calling dumb people dumb. Let me show you guys how to properly use the gut of Jack in case any of you go to Alpha Elite and you don't know, okay? First, I'm gonna show you how people are using it incorrectly. Oh, you see this, dude? Do you see this, dude? That's what you don't want to do. Why in anyone on this planet, why would you do that? Now I know this might blow a lot of people's minds, but all you gotta do is just move the weight back a little bit. What? No way will that work, Max. What the heck? Oh my God, and then the whole thing is on the platform? What? It's blowing my mind, Max. Thank you, dude. Another issue with those platforms is some people have been saying they're slipping who do sumo, which I'm not really sure how because I'm not slipping, I'm a light guy, I lift heavy, and my feet do not move, and I go about as wide as you can on that platform. But either way, I don't want people to get hurt, so I'm gonna remake those platforms. Instead of having a four foot wide piece of wood on top, I'm gonna change it to two feet. So if you do perform sumo deadlifts, you're gonna be on the mat, so you won't have any issues. I think the cleaning people were like mopping the platforms, which are probably taking off some of the um, sticky coating that I had on there. So I don't want people to get hurt, we're gonna redo those. And speaking of deadlifts, would would anyone in the Houston area, if I were to set up a deadlifting only powerlifting meet, I'd like to host a uh, full meet eventually, but you know, just to get my feet wet and hosting something, I would love to do a deadlift only competition. Maybe we'll do it for charity, um, and we'll do it at the warehouse. I'll get it all set up. It'll be like an unofficial meet, but uh, I think it should be really cool. Leave your comments down below if you would compete in that, uh, because I would need to start setting that up now, maybe around like April time. Leave your comments down below. Should we host? a deadlift only powerlifting competition. Would you come? Would you show me some love? Dude will be there. Dude will be there. Leave your comments. You guys are witnessing the first time I have ever seen dude finish all of his food. Good boy. Get big. Get huge, dude. So some stuff I'm trying with dude. It's on. Hey, leave it. Leave it. Then I kind of take it out of his mouth. Oh, good boy. Hey, no, leave it. We're trying here. Leave it, leave it. Good boy. Sit. Sit. Good boy. Ready? Go get it. Repetition. Repetition. Bring it back. Bring it back. Oh my 
Did you just see that somersault, dude? So something that I'm really trying to do every single day is be on a schedule with dude. So when he wakes up from a nap, take him out. When he's done playing, take him out. As soon as he's done eating, like 10 minutes right after, take him out. If he doesn't pee, you know, then I bring him back in five minutes, take him back out. Um, he ate dinner like 30 minutes ago, took a little nap for 10 minutes. We went out, he didn't poop. So I set an alarm on my phone for 10 minutes and we have a minute and 21 seconds left. Now he's playing and I'm gonna take him out. If he doesn't poop, bring him back in, wait five, 10 minutes, take him back out. You just have to do repetition so he knows that going outside is where you do this. Come on, come on. Yes, good boy, good boy. So when I come out here, I just kind of walk and wait for him to sniff around and take a dump. Dude, if you don't get away from that sewer grate, you're about to hear, Hi there, Georgie. And sometimes he just does stuff not related to going to the bathroom at all. Right now, he's very, very amped up. But as soon as he starts sniffing and circling, I, I know a turd is coming out of his butthole. Come. Guys, look at this dog. The prime example, we've been out here for about 10 minutes and dude just won't do anything but lay in the grass. So, we're going to take him back in, wait 10 minutes, and bring him right back out. Repetition. You have four minutes until we're going to try to have you poop again. You better go. Just sitting in the warehouse. I know you got to poop. There it is. There it is right there. <gasps> yes. Go potty. Good boy. I'll look away. Sorry. That's a good boy. Good boy, dude. Hey, that's a good boy. You're such a good boy. Yes. Honestly, I wish people would praise me when I go to the bathroom. So what I've learned as a dog owner for the past two weeks is that there's ups, there's downs, there's learning curve. No, love me, please, for this clip, dude. Just please love me, man. <laughs> He's so tired. Um, I'm taking advice from a lot of people. I'm trying a lot of different things. Um, and at the end of the day, I'm gonna find out what works best for dude because every dog is kind of different. Like what works for one dog is not gonna work for the other dogs. And then like certain houses, like I can't, the whole like bell system, I want to do it with doors. You can't really do it here with doors and then like using the leash. I'm trying to train them, I'm switching to harness. There's, I'm learning a lot, but it's been the most like stressful past two weeks. Like I, you hear about getting a puppy and you're like, ah, that's fine. It's not gonna be that big of a deal. Like I, each night I'm getting very minimal sleep, waking up a lot, getting well, frustrated a lot. You're not you anymore, dude. You're, you're, different. And, and you're a different guy. Christian, how, how, how like, can you tell I've been like irritated, like aggravated? Yeah, Max has been weird recently, Max, right? Really yeah, normally he's like happy, it's, it's good just, go, and like nice guy. Now he's just bitching everybody out all the well, time. Well, it's just like, it's like you never know with dogs. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like okay, like when I take him out and he doesn't go, is his bladder getting better if for like 25 minutes I'm out there and then you bring him in and he's like, no, no pisses, he just didn't want to go. It's like, and then you get so frustrated. You can't get frustrated with dogs, but I'm learning, we're documenting. I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Thumbs up for dude. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Oh,